Well, we are also tra tracking a developing story this hour in the national gun control debate. It involves questions about why one of the most vocal supporters for stricter gun control laws has recently purchased an AR-15 rifle, which has been one of the weapons uh, most criticized by folks who want to see tighter gun control laws. Mark Kelly, who is the husband of former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords and an astronaut, is defending his own purchase of the rifle and a handgun. Both weapons were bought just one day before he spoke at a rally for gun control. Trace Gallagher has the full story live now in our West Coast newsroom. Trace. And so, Megan, you have some who claim that Mark Kelly simply got caught buying an assault rifle. Mark Kelly says, no, 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 he was simply testing the system. What happened was earlier this month, you see it right there, he walked into a Tucson gun shop and bought, as you, bought, as you said, the AR-15 assault rifle and a 45 caliber handgun. The next day is when he appeared at a gun control rally at the very same shopping plaza where his wife, Gabby Giffords, was shot two years ago. Now, Breitbart.com was about to break the story of Kelly buying the assault weapon when Kelly posted on his Facebook page that he was turning the assault rifle in to Tucson police. Then he appeared on CNN and when he was asked, hey, what gives? He said this. It's important for me to have firsthand knowledge about how easy it is or difficult it is, you know, to buy a weapon like that. You know, we're, uh, you know, it's through a background check, obviously, at a, at a federally licensed uh, gun dealer, but it's important for me to know you know what what it is and you know to have first-hand knowledge now he certainly has made no bones about the fact that he is a gun owner saying that he and gabby are proud gun owners but he has to draw the line somewhere now here's the irony about him turning in his assault rifle to the tucson police because in arizona there's a law that mandates that voluntarily surrendered guns be treated as assets and sold off to help balance the Arizona budget, so it's likely the gun that Mark Kelly turned into Tucson police could end up in the hands of somebody else. Megan. Mm. All right, Trace, thank you.